Singaporeans with upcoming trips to Israel are relooking their travel plans following the outbreak of fighting between between Israel and Hamas over the weekend. Rev. Dr. Aaron Tay of Bidok Methodist Church had been planning to lead a group of 56 parishioners to Israel from November 26 to December 11, but has put the 16-day trip on hold. Israel declared a state of war on Saturday after Palestinian militant group Hamas launched some 2,200 missiles from the Gaza Strip and infiltrated southern Israel over the weekend. More than 700 Israelis and over 400 Palestinians have died so far in this conflict, along with at least 1,200 wounded. Rev. Dr. Tay and his group were planning to visit the south of Israel. Jerusalem, the Dead Sea and Tiberias, some 90 kilometers from the Gaza Strip. He told the Straits Times that he is waiting for more information from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs MFA. We are saddened by the loss of lives, and we would not intentionally go into a place of conflict, especially with the MFA advisory, Rev. Dr. Tay said, adding that the trip had already been paid for in full. We may plan to go at another time, when things are better, maybe in 6 to 12 months' time. On Sunday, MFA advised Singaporeans to avoid all travel to the Gaza Strip, the West Bank and Israel's borders with the Gaza Strip, Lebanon and Syria. It also urged Singaporeans to avoid all non-essential travel to Israel in view of the ongoing rocket fire between Israel and the Gaza Strip. Married couple Dexter and Rosemary Chia, both 60, were planning a trip to Israel from October 30 to November 8 with a tour group of around 30 people. Mrs. Chia said she and her husband have not been told anything by the tour agency yet and are unsure of whether flights will be cancelled. Right now, all we can do is wait for more information, she said, adding that they were not likely to go if the tour proceeds explained. She declined to share more details about her trip, including the name of the tour agency. Israeli tour operator Israel Saral Tours, which partners local tour organizer Omega Tours to offer visits to Israel, said on Facebook that visitors who are due to arrive in the next few days will have their itineraries modified according to the situation. Groups that are currently in Israel are safe and have itineraries away from the troubled region. It added in a Facebook post on Sunday night. ST has contacted the tour operator on the number of groups with Singaporeans that are in the country and the number of Singaporeans who are planning to go. We are maintaining ongoing communications with all the relevant authorities and further travel updates will follow as the situation unfolds said Saral Tos. Another tour group organizer who spoke on condition of anonymity said that his priority is the well-being and safety of all travelers. He and a group of 40 others are slated to visit Israel in mid-November and a decision on whether to proceed with the trip will be made within the week. The organizer added that he will follow MFA advisories and has since allowed participants to withdraw from the tour with a refund provided. However, many are still keen to go and are hoping for the best, he said, without elaborating. In its advisory, MFA said Singaporeans traveling to or staying in Israel and the Palestinian territories should be vigilant and monitor local developments closely. They should also avoid areas known for public disturbances or where large crowds gather, especially in the Old City and East Jerusalem, including Haram al-Sharif or Temple Mount. They should also buy comprehensive travel and medical insurance, added the ministry.